Firefighters in Arizona blame a technical problem for this wild rescue. Crews had to rescue an injured hiker near Phoenix. Now watch this. During the rescue, that basket, the 74-year-old in that was in it started spinning wildly. Firefighters say a line intended to stop the basket broke. Tori Mason joins us live tonight. Tori, a Colorado company says it may have a solution for something like that. They do. The engineers at Vita and Clonada Technologies say that kind of spinning actually happens quite often. It's just not caught on camera. A similar experience happened to one of the founders, and that's how they came up with an idea for a solution. We design and build a platform independent hoist rescue stability solutions. If it sounds over your head, that's because it is. Their Load Stability System, or LSS, can stabilize any object below an aircraft up to 1,000 pounds and 60 knot gusts. That can be a, a person, uh, a generator, a barrel, uh, a basket in this case. The LSS attaches to any hoisting cable without jeopardizing the line's integrity. We fuse together our own sensors to determine balance. The system determines the best move to bring the basket back to center preventing it from spinning. The fan stabilized motion rather than the pilot. My underlying drive is to design and build technology that accounts for either human error or things humans can't account for. What if it's not human error? What if it's the wind? It doesn't matter um, for us. Oh, whether it's wind, downwash, uh, human error, um, in a wartime situation where uh, the aircrafts have to maneuver away from obstacles, they're currently working with the Colorado National Guard to integrate the system directly into rescue baskets, preventing anything like this from happening again. There is rescue situations that will be able to occur that have never occurred before because of the integration of this technology. Very cool. Now, that system is still in the prototype phase, but they've been conducting demonstrations for the last eight months. They hope to have it in the air and saving lives by 2020. We're live in Broomfield. Tori Mason covering Colorado First. Thank you, Tori.